the Belize Peace Movement, which in 2019 took the government to court to compel it to comply with Section 90, Part 1 of the Belize Constitution, which stipulates that each electoral division shall have as nearly as may be an equal number of persons eligible to vote, so that it will not allow another unconstitutional and illegal election. At a press conference today, one of their attorneys, Arthur Zaldiver, shared that they will be ready with an application for an injunction as soon as elections are announced next year. Where the court has been apprised, and it has been apprised now for five years, that election boundaries has been holding unconstitutional elections, <coughs> it is very unlikely that the courts of Belize would allow them, under this situation now, to hold another one unconstitutionally. This is not a situation like the last time where there was a redistricting exercise and lots of monies according to them was being spent to answer the question that was asked previously about attorneys coming and what have you. The reason for us not succeeding on an injunction on the last occasion was the timing of the injunction going in and the ability of the other side to say that there was great expenditure of funds leading up to an expected election after 13 years of, of the last administration. This administration has been in for only four years now. They don't have that long time. The people of Belize are not clamoring for an election right now. The only people who benefit from an early election is the administration, not the people. We know that the electorate last election in 2020 was tired. They were tired of the 13 years of the previous administration. We don't know if they, are that, if they are so tired yet, save and accept that we've seen the very low turnout in the last municipal election, which may tell us that, yes, there may be some tired people in the electorate right now. They don't want them to vote. But in so far as timing is concerned and expenditure of funds is concerned, that argument doesn't exist this time around as it did previously. Saldivar affirmed that this will not be like the last time when the politicians and their attorneys were able to convince the courts that their application for an injunction was coming too close to an election and that they had already expended so much money for their campaigns. There is some word that there is a plan on having an election in November. At least that's what we are hearing. So if that is the plan, the Prime Minister has a certain number of days before that to to actually make an announcement. So we have to time our filing of an injunction to coincide with whenever that time comes that he would make that announcement so it would not be a premature application because there's a timing issue. So in essence, I understand you to be saying that the PM announces Monday, by Tuesday, you'll be filing that. We're, we're ready to go. After the Elections and Boundaries Commission presented its recommendations for redistricting in July last year, there was widespread condemnation from both sides of the aisle, and the report was never tabled for debate at the House of Representatives. The BPM then filed an application for enforcement of the consent order of 2021. This comes up in court in a few weeks. One of the claimants in the case, Robert Bobby Lopez, highlighted that in 2012, an observer mission from the Organization of American States recommended that the electoral boundaries be redrawn for Belize to be in compliance with the Constitution. Lopez says the government is flouting the rule of law. Another, com another complainant, Paul Morgan, reminded that the current deviation from the mean, from the mean is 60% and widening, whereas the international standard for deviation is 10%, while 20% is referenced in the Constitution. Morgan says the recommendation in the, the Commission's report presented to Parliament is of 35%.